Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Jay Madden. Today we're going to be talking about Montipore eating nudibranchs. As you all know in the reefing hobby we have many different types of Montipore that we keep and one of the only predators to Montipora are Montipore eating nudibranchs. These nudibranchs feed on the live tissue of our Montipora corals and can cause devastating damage if left unchecked. I'm going to be showing you guys a quick video and a close-up of one of these nudibranchs and some egg clutches that I currently have on this Montipora Confucia. I noticed this nudibranch about a week or so ago. I wasn't quite sure what it was because I thought they were very small. But they can grow up to about 8 millimeters or roughly 3 eighths of an inch in length. Here underneath the top plate of this Montipora, I'm going to zoom in and show you this nudibranch. What you'll see right here, as soon as I focus it, is the large nudibranch as well as smaller white dots, which are actually little clutches of eggs. These nudibranchs, from my understanding, can reproduce asexually. So one nudibranch that has been fertilized in the past can produce eggs without a second nudibranch in the system. Uh, this small area here above where the large nudibranch is, uh, there is dead coral tissue, but the polyp extension on my coral is still good. So hopefully I've caught this soon enough. And one of the steps I'm going to be taking is, is to remove this coral, dip it, and brush the area where the egg clutches are and the nudibranch to remove them. best way to prevent these from going into your system is to dip prior to introduction, which I've done in the past, so I'm not quite sure how I missed this guy. Thank you all for watching. For more videos, subscribe on up. Many more to come. Happy reefing.